Yes, you read the title right. I found a way to build an app like this one using Canva AI. It looks and feels like a real app, but it's all running from a simple Canva website. In this video, I'll show you how to create yours step by step, and you can do it too, even if you are a complete beginner. This is the app that we are going to recreate today. It is an interactive app, as you can see in here. The event is at 5 p.m. Madrid time. But if it happens that you are in a different city, like for example, Sydney or Los Angeles, you can choose that city and the app will tell you at what time you need to be online to be able to enjoy this live event. And then finally, you can see that there is a navigation bar at the bottom you can move from page to page and there is also a button that it is working so I'm clicking here on the button and we are going to this different landing page that I created in another platform if you want to play around with this app you can scan this QR code and see how it looks and how it feels from your own mobile device We're going to build this app using Canva AI and in particular the feature code for me. And in order to get the best outcomes, we need to learn to prompt. So I have developed a prompt structure that you can use to get the best outcomes. Here it is. I have three different sections and in the first one, we are going to give some context. So basically we are telling Canva what we want to create and why we want to create it. But before before we jump into the example that I have for you guys today, I want to give you guys a tip before we start writing our prompt. I don't want you to start writing your prompt directly in the chat because in my case, I submitted the prompt, the incomplete prompt by accident. So in this case, I lost one usage of the Canva code feature. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the amount of prompts that you can submit to the app. You have a limited amount, so you need to be careful with these prompts that you are sending. So this is reason number one. And reason number two, why I stopped crafting my prompts directly in the chat is because sometimes I was accidentally deleting my prompt and there is no control set to go back and to recover your prompt. So sometimes you need to write long prompts and... Yeah, I was pretty sad when all of a sudden my prompt disappeared. So I prefer to go into a Canva document and start crafting my prompt from here. Then I have time and I do have the space to read correctly my prompt to make sure that it's complete. And then I simply copy and paste it into the chat. Now, let me come back to the prompt structure. This will be the first section of our prompt, which is the context. We want to provide context to the chat and explain what do we want to create first and what is it about. So in here I'm explaining that I want to create an interactive mobile friendly app called, this is the name, you will of course add your own name and then I'm explaining this app then this is the reason of why this app is going to exist. So this app will promote a free workshop, will deliver. The workshop helps entrepreneurs discover the potential of Canva AI. So I'm giving even more context of the workshop that we want to promote. And this is also very important because you will see that Canva AI will generate a lot of text for you. So the more context you provide, the better copy it will craft for you. And then lastly, we have in here, they will learn how to create their own interactive apps and games. It is a beginner friendly workshop. Now let's continue with the prompt structure. We have already given the context and now we need to explain the chat. What do we want in terms of content and features? So this is the lengthy part of our prompt, but it's also very important that you spend some time explaining exactly what is it that you want and and how you want it to work. So we have in here, the app should include, so I have three different pages. I want my 
app to have these three pages. So that's giving some context of the content that I want to display here. And then I'm explaining what do I want to have in each page. So we have the homepage. Display the event name, date, and a friendly introductory message. Remember that in the context, I already provided the name and the date of this event. But I haven't spoken about who's the host, so I'm providing that information in here. Include a short bio and photo of the host. And now I'm providing some links in here so the AI can learn who is the host. So here's the URL to Ronnie's LinkedIn. And I'm also providing here a URL containing the photo of the host, which is Ronnie. And I sourced this URL from our website. So let me show you quickly how I did it. Here I am in teamrondi.com. This is our website. And let me show you here. This is the photo that I want to use in our Canva app. So I'm simply going to right click and open image in new tab. Here we have the new tab. So copy. And this is the URL that we are going to paste in our prompt. Okay, so this is everything regarding the homepage. And now we are coming to the program page. This is going to be an interactive schedule. So this is the special feature I want to have in my app. So I'm explaining here very well. An interactive schedule showing the start time. So it will be 5 p.m. Madrid time. And the option to see the time in other countries. Date of the event is Wednesday 26th of November. And I think in this case I should have been a little bit more precise with the countries I wanted to list in here, but you will see that Canva did the work for me and it was actually okay. But in your case, if you want to be more precise, just give more information in the prompt. Now, I also have here a little bit more of context of what I want in this page. So basically listing this page, the program, and I have provided the different sections that we are going to have in this workshop. And lastly, I want to have an RSVP page in which I want to include a button and then I have provided the URL that I want to link in this button. And then I'm also giving some more context, more information on why people should RSVP to our events. So participants will need to RSVP so we can send them the workshop link. And lastly, I also want to make sure that there are button navigation tabs for home, program and RSVP. Okay, so we are almost done with our prompt. We have the context. We have already provided the content and features that we want to see in the app. And lastly, we need to work on the branding in case that you want your app to be customized. This part of the prompt, I believe is pretty simple. I just provided the different colors that I wanted to use on our app. So the text will be this color, background is this black kind of color and then we have a accent pink color. I'm also mentioning the name of the font that I want to use and I'm giving some more extra information so I want to use the extra bold weight of this font for titles and regular for body text. And at the end I added this line. Don't use emojis in titles or body text. I added this line because I have seen that in many of my Code For Me creations, my Code For Me projects, there are a lot of emojis everywhere. And I believe it's a little bit too much. Sometimes it looks pretty cool. It adds something extra to the designs. But in this case, I want the app to be a little bit more minimal and for us to simply focus on the information that we have in there. Now we're done with our prompt and before we continue, before we paste all of this prompt into the chat, I just want to let you know that you have some limited usages. So if you have a Canva free account, you'll be able to submit 10 prompts per day. And if you have a Canva Pro, Teams or for Education account, you'll be able to submit up to 60 prompts per day. We are done with the prompt and it is time for us to put all the information together in the chat. So here I am in Canva AI. I want you to click on code for me and then you're going to paste your prompt in here. So I'm going to take my context. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Then let's go to the content and features, copy and pasting it here. And the last section, which is 
branding, copying this text and pasting it in here. I want you to also take a couple of minutes to double check all the information that you have in here, make sure that everything looks fine and then click submit. This is the first version of the app that I created. As you can see, it looks pretty good and I personally love that there is a way to finally be able to add images to your code for me projects. So you can see here, Ronnie's picture. This is the one that we took from our website and everything looks good. It works fine. You know, like the button is working. When I click here, it takes me to our RSVP page, which I created in a different platform. And the programming here, you can see, pay attention to the timing here. When I select New York, it changes and Paris and so on. So it is interactive, but the only thing that I'm not happy about is that I think I made a mistake in terms of the color combination. I think I want the background to be white. So I have already asked the chat to change it. And my prompt, as you can see, it's pretty simple and basic. I simply asked change background for white. That was it. And let me show you version number two of the app. And before I show you, I was hesitating whether to give more information in this prompt, maybe giving directions on which color to use for the text. I was scared to see everything white because you can see here that the text is white. So I was wondering wondering if we have a white background and then white text, how is this going to look? But I really wanted to test this AI. So simple prompt and this is version number two. As you can see, we have a white background and the text is black. So we have a good contrast. As you can see, everything looks good and is still working. We have here everything as before. We just changed the color in the background. But this time I was checking the content on the app and then I realized that there is a line here with a link to Ronnie's LinkedIn. And the main purpose of this app is for people to go and RSVP. So I don't want to have an extra CTA, another link for people to get lost on LinkedIn. So my next prompting here is remove the line connect on LinkedIn. And then I saw that in the program page, Page. This line is not very descriptive of the content that we have below. So I asked change this for this. So workshop overview. And then on the last page, I see that the description of the event, it says perfect for entrepreneurs, business owners, and anyone curious about. But I want to be very precise with our audience. So I asked to change anyone curious about for professionals curious about. And this is version number three. As you can see, we don't have the link going to LinkedIn. And then we have also the new title in here and the new line. This app looks perfect and it is working fine but I just took a couple of minutes more to make sure that all the copy that we have in here aligns very well with what we want to communicate. Remember that the copy that we have in here, so all of this text, was written by the AI in Canva. I just gave a little bit of context but the rest was Canva. So I found that we could improve just a couple of things more. So as you can see, change this for for this. And then we have the last version in here. It took me four versions to be able to create this app and now we are ready to publish it. So for this you are going to click use in a design and then from here you have four different document types. I'm going for website and then from here I do suggest that you preview your app before publishing it. So you're going to go here to the preview button and then you can see how your app looks from desktop. At the moment we are seeing it as desktop. Everything looks good, working fine. And now let's see how it looks from mobile. So this is the app look and feel. You can see in here that everything is working and we are ready to publish. So you can publish directly from here or you can go to share and then click website. You can customize your URL by clicking on this pencil.
and then hit publish. And your website or your app is going to be live in a couple of seconds. You can copy the URL that will take you to your app from here, or if you want, you can also preview it from your desktop by clicking on this button. So this is how it looks from a desktop. You can see we have the navigation bar here at the bottom. We can interact with the app. Remember that this is a live app. Let me show you here that we have the URL and the button is working, which is taking me to another platform where I created this RSVP. So I'm going to take this URL and paste it on my browser on my mobile device. So here you have the app. We have the navigation bar at the bottom. You can see that still interactive. You can see all the information in here. And this button is working as well on mobile. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about this creation? I believe it has a lot of value and it is actually pretty, pretty useful. So what do you think about this app? Do you find it useful? Do you like the design? Do you like how it feels, how it looks? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you like this kind of content. I would love to see if you guys are interested in learning more of this kind of projects or if you want to learn anything else related to Canva that is not Canva code. Run even. Okay. Come here. What? Come. Going Look. On. What is this? I created an app. An app? Create apps and games with Canva. Okay. What do you think about Free it? Free workshop. It's an interactive oh, wow. app. Interactive? So if I click? Yes. So you can see that the time it's at 5 p.m. Madrid, but ah, if you okay, are so in New York, like you can see the time. Different time zones. Yes. Okay. So what happens if you are in Japan? In Tokyo. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. It's too late. Doesn't matter. And then you can go <laughs> Not to uh, RSVP. Japanese friendly. And then you okay. can RSVP if you want. I RSVP. I'm uh, coming to your event. Amazing. If you want to continue learning about Canva with us, make sure to check our Canva Master Course and don't forget to subscribe. We upload a new video every week. I think that's it for this tutorial and I really, really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!